back to another video. My name's Rick and my aim is to help you all realize the truth that feeling great is your natural state. So tonight I want to take some time to talk about something which I've been seeing uh, basically every day at work for the last, well, for the last six, seven, eight months more. And that is eyes, specifically tired eyes. So uh, my day job is uh, working as an optometrist and as an optometrist, uh, basically, you, you may have been to the optician's or the optometrist's office before, and you'll know the gist of it would basically go, is it better with number one or number two? Here is number three and number four. Is the red better or do you prefer the green? Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dumbing, it, dumbing it down very, very much. Um, but you get, you get the idea. Basically, we look at eyes, we uh, get glasses, we check for disease in the eyes, things like that there. Anyway, what I've been seeing a lot of in the last six, seven, eight months is tired eyes. Specifically, tired eyes as a result of a lot of computer use and near work. So it's very hard to feel good whenever you've got tired eyes. Your body could be jumping with energy. You could run a marathon. You could feel like you could press 100 kilos in the bench press, no problem. But if you feel tired in your eyes, it can just handicap the rest. And it's like a, it's just like a blemish on an otherwise perfect entity. Hope that makes some sense. Anyway, so I want to give you a few solid concrete tips, which I give to all my patients, which help keep your eyes nice and relaxed and refreshed, which will trickle down to the rest of your body and you'll just feel a lot more alert and more awake and everything will be a lot nicer, a lot smoother, a lot easier. Anyway, so... It's very simple. I'm just going to give you a few top tips and you can do them right now. You can do them anytime, do them throughout the day. The more you do them, the better. But uh, they don't need to be overthought. They're very, very simple and most of them don't cost anything. So tip number one is if you're looking at a computer screen or a phone, laptop, tablet, doesn't matter, for a prolonged, prolonged, blah, 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 <laughs> prolonged period of time, remember the rule 20, 20, 20. So that means every 20 minutes, take a break for 20 seconds and look somewhere 20 meters far away. That gives your eyes a chance to relax because basically whenever you're looking up close, something up close, your eyes are having to converge in. So whenever they converge in, it uses two little muscles, one on each eye. There's the medial rectus in each eye and they bring the eyes inwards, converge the eyes. So every time you're looking at something up close, those little muscles are constantly working. To try and imagine what it's like, just try and hold a weight like a dumbbell you know, in a certain fixed position, like a bicep curl, you're standing like this here, you know, just constantly flexing your arms. It'll get tiring pretty quickly. So just imagine how tiring it can get for these little small muscles just in here. So what you do is every 20 minutes, look somewhere 20 meters away for 20 seconds and that just lets your eyes return to their natural position and it gives them a break basically. If you don't do that, what can happen over time is, maybe you've experienced it before, but you can go cross-eyed. You're a, uh, Binocular single vision basically breaks down and you see double. Sometimes it happens whenever you've had too many Chardonnays or Jaeger bombs or 6% um, IPA beer, any other alcohol, basically any drink because drink can cause muscle weakness. Another time as well is just when your eyes get so tired that they can no longer maintain that singular image. So it's really, it, it's a great tip to do every day Every night especially, it's better to even do it at night time as well because that's when your muscles are going to be a little bit more tired as well after the long day of work before. So that's the first top tip, 20, 20, 20. Another one is think and blink. So that may sound really strange, but it's uh, as simple as it sounds. Whenever you're looking at a screen for a long time, in particular, particular, in particular screens because your blink rate drops substantially when you're looking at a computer screen for a long time, your blink rate can actually drop by as much as 60%. So whenever that happens, the tear film over your eyes basically destabilizes. It's not being replenished to the same extent that it normally would. So every time you blink, you basically redistribute the tears over the front surface of the eye. And whenever you do that, it basically improves the comfort of the eye. It improves the optical quality of the light going through the eye. And it just makes everything a lot more comfortable, a lot clearer. Whenever your eyes go dry, uh, symptoms, signs and symptoms can include red eyes, dry, scratchy eyes, irritated eyes, vision can go a bit blurry. So think and blink. Make a, con a conscious effort to blink more when you're looking at a computer screen, especially 
if you're doing a long stint of work or even towards the end of the day. And that'll just help keep your eyes feeling nice and refreshed. Following on from that, this is the only tip which might actually cost a little bit, and that is in the form of eye drops, ocular lubricants, or re-wetting drops. Again, these are fantastic for nourishing the eyes, just keeping them nice and lubricated and crystal clear. You can put some drops in in the morning, afternoon, in the evening, it doesn't really matter, but uh, you're basically moisturizing the eyes. And whenever the eyes get dry, like I was saying before, they can get dry, they can ir get irritated, they can get red, itchy, scratchy, vision can get a bit blurry, it can fluctuate a bit. So uh, eye drops, if you keep them on tap, not tap, but you know, <laughs> keep them nearby, fantastic thing you can do, which will just keep everything feeling really nice and comfortable and clear. So that's my third tip. The fourth tip that I want to give you today is, uh, again, another very simple one, and that is simply just closing your eyes. It's quite similar to the 20-20-20 rule, which I just mentioned before, but whenever you close your eyes, such as in meditation, or just if you're having like a power nap, something like that there, it gives your eyes a chance to really rest and recuperate very, very quickly. So what it does is whenever you close your eyes, your eyes will return to their natural position. The natural position of the eyes, if you picture two lines coming out of the eyes, that's like the line of sight. The line of sight, whenever you're looking at a single object is, well, they converge, but your natural position, if you're just looking into infinity, your eyes aren't perfectly aligned. What happens is they're either slightly divergent or they're slightly convergent. So whenever you're focusing on something, especially up close, you're having to converge your eyes. If your eyes are naturally diverging, or if that's what they want to do, you're physically having to overcome that to focus on something up close. So what you do is, whenever you close your eyes, your eyes return to their natural position. And that lets all the little muscles rest and recover. It also, again, replenishes the tear film, keeping the eyes nice and comfortable, keeping your vision nice and clear as well. And it just makes everything feel a lot more well, conducive to feeling great, which is what, what it's all about. So those are four simple top tips, which I uh, recommend you do any time, all the time, every day. <laughs> so just to reiterate, so 20, 20, 20, whenever you're doing a lot of near work, look somewhere 20 meters away for 20 seconds every 20 minutes. Not the second one was think and blink, which is when you're at a computer screen or your phone, laptop, tablet for a long period of time, consciously think blink more, think about blinking more, that way it keeps replenishing your tear film, keeps everything nice and comfortable. Third one, eye drops, re-wetting drops, ocular lubricant, lubricant, it's all the same, it just keeps the eyes comfortable, clear, crystal, crystal clear. And then the final one was closing your eyes just to rest them. And whenever you're resting your eyes, you're re-lubricating the eyes, restoring the tear film, also you're letting the little muscles, the recti muscles around the eyes relax and recover. And it doesn't take long to do it. One minute is better than nothing. Two minutes is better. Five minutes is better again. You'll know yourself after you've done it a few more times. I mean, it's, just, it's basically just napping, but it's something to be consciously aware of. So those are four of my top tips for keeping your eyes in a nice, healthy, comfortable condition, which will trickle down to the rest of you. You keep your eyes feeling great, the rest of you will feel great. Anyway... I hope you gained some degree of value from this video today. And uh, if you have any comments, please post away as always. And again, as always, thanks again for watching. All the best and take care.